Hey everyone, it's me Kenji again, and I just got done watching Love is Blind season six, episodes three and four. As always, I have so much to discuss, so let's just dive right into it. Now, the first major scene is when Clay starts to break down and cry. And I, I got the feeling that the production was really trying to give Clay some kind of redemption arc where at first we saw him as this really shallow guy, but come to find out that was just him putting up walls and barriers and now they're coming down and he's being sensitive. I did not buy one minute of it. Clay, as I've said from my first impression, is giving wolf and sheep's clothing and he really solidified that for me when he then proceeds to talk to ad and starts reading bible verses of course you can be shallow or of course you're not like you don't have to be perfect in order to be a christian but it's just something about him just doing that 180 switch so quickly that gives me pause and I just don't believe this, like I just don't believe in the sincerity. So after he spouts out some Bible verses, he proposes to AD, AD of course says yes, and then he starts dropping some F-bombs right afterwards. I, I'm really concerned that Clay is going to be bringing a lot of drama in this season when it comes to just his emotions. I said this back when I watched Love is Blind Sweden where some of the guys were saying that they were very emotional or very in tune with their emotions. I think there's a huge difference between being in tune with your emotions and going to therapy um, and actually working through them. Clay just seems like the type that has very easy triggers and I'm concerned that AD is about to go through a huge emotional roller coaster. Moving on to Brittany and Kenneth, I want to like this couple, but I, I just don't really care about this couple. I, I get the feeling that production is trying to make them into the next Cameron and Lauren with the whole interracial thing and they really don't care, but I felt some type of way that they actually asked about each other's race while they were in the pods. And when they first meet, it just seemed a bit awkward. I don't know if it's because they're Christians who are waiting until marriage, that there's some type of tension and it's a little bit awkward, or Brittany's actually not that attracted to Kenneth. So moving on to Jessica and Jimmy, I felt like this was one of the most contentious conversations I've seen thus far in the pods, where Jessica is very serious about her men not following other women on social media. In today's society, I think it's an important conversation to be had, but it was just how Jessica went about it just really came off as controlling. Now, while I also do appreciate Jessica for being direct and being very open about what it is that she truly is looking for, I think because she really wants to have not only a husband, but a father figure for her kid that at this point in her life, she is very serious and almost like too intense for Jimmy. Moving on to Chelsea, I know I said in my previous video that she was like a light green flag for that whole Megan Fox comment. At this point, I view her more as a yellow flag. And the reason why is because I'm starting to put certain pieces together about Chelsea. In episodes one and two, she tells Trevor and Jimmy that she was married and that she is now divorced. And while I would say their responses were pretty appropriate, Chelsea let her insecurity get to her. And I find this interesting just because I think sometimes when we tell people or we're scared to tell people things, our insecurities or our reaction are, are way more out of proportion than what those people's response was. Jimmy and Trevor were pretty fine with her being divorced, but she was so emotional and crying about it. And that leads me to talk about episodes three and four, 
where Trevor and Jimmy are still neck and neck for Chelsea's affection and she's just crying a lot. Now, I do have to admit, I am an emotional person. So it just makes me wonder, like, if I were on this show, would I be crying that much? But I've said this time and time again, it is okay to be an emotional person. It is okay to go to therapy, but it's also important for you to be in control of your emotions. And it just makes me wonder if Chelsea is emotionally stable for this show. So yeah, that is really all I have to say about episodes three and four. I felt like in comparisons to episode one and two, this was a little bit more boring. Um, but as I've said before, I am cautiously optimistic about this season. It still leaps and bounds better than season five. So stay tuned for my next video where I break down episodes five and six. And uh, yeah, guys, see you later. Bye.